anything else of note that you're doing? No? All right. I think after everything finishes up, after I do finish the shield and all that, I think Alaxor would sit down and kind of pray and meditate on the new abilities that he has been bestowed. Yeah. So as you and do how that, those memories came from, where did they come from? Because it, he doesn't remember them. Yeah, as you do that, once again, the memory, such strange memories fill your minds. Of course, the most defining of them all was the moment that you perished. That comes to mind for a moment. And you got remind you get reminded of how the night the mother of the night lifted you up and gave you a second chance. And now you think about where that where those where the uh, memories of the new kind came from. And you remember some sort of tall figure of some sort. He spoke of a prince, but other than that, you do not remember much and as you do that eventually the day fades away and you all get a long rest and you wake oh. up the next day yeah last time on secrets of monster island our monster hunters had defeated the morkoth uh which was corrupting the healing lagoon and had ventured back to the monastery using their new friend uh who you assume to be the king of monsters and you all went off on a little side mission with Janice and Janice uh, you defeated the monsters that were around the area quite easily and uh, Janice ate a fruit that made Janice grow to into a full displacer beast but Janice is sort of getting used to her new body so she will probably because at the at the heart of her she's still a kitten so she'll probably still be taking time to get used to that body um you all return back into the material plane uh with yodele shrank because he also ate one of the fruit but it ended up to shrink him and not grow him um and returned to speak with tua and jim uh and jim is ready to go back to the healing lagoon uh, and celebrate your victory and Tua uh, appeared to say that whatever the creature was that you saw uh, is um, maybe the monster king and told you that two of the three fae that created these islands is are alive and one of them is dead um, having died after a brutal war and as you all pick back up we are you are all are heading back to the Healing Lagoon uh, and make it there before sundown because it is um, because of your six-legged horses. Um, and so you get off and you find yourselves back in the Healing Lagoon area. Huh. What would you guys like to do? Has, has the village already noticed the change? Yeah, so there, there are like people celebrating in the streets, people celebrating from their houses, cheers. Um, you hear some people uh, yelling out, uh, "Thank you, monster hunters!" And it's it's so weird because one little contrast I will point out is that these people seem to celebrate you, unlike the people of Rivermouth, who seem to kind of despise you in a way. Um, they don't really like you all in Rivermouth all that much. Um, because they hate me. I think and, I want to move here. Um, <laughs> but, the pe but the people feel very excited and aren't blaming you for anything that you would have done wrong. Unlike the people of Rivermouth. <laughs> um, so they celebrate, you see some swimming in the lagoon having a grand old time, you see some healing happening, and everyone's having a great time. As What would you guys like to do? I think join the party. Okay. Uh, my thing. Is there a what? 
Shallow section. <laughs> yes, you see all the pool. you see all the you see all the you see all the young ones with their little floaties uh, in the in the kiddie pool area. Yeah, I want me some of them floaties. <laughs> So you see Yoda like get these little floaties, and he just appears to be floating on them. Um, and uh, before joining the party, uh, I would like to, uh, Jim, can we uh, take care of a couple of things real quick before <laughs> enjoying the festivities? Yes, yes, we could do that. Um, and take the the orb and the boule yeah. head. And she uh, says that she can get this done uh, by tomorrow. Um, well, I was gonna help with the because I've got oh, smith okay. tools as so, well for the boule head. So, we so you you can both work on it. Her area, yeah, yeah. So you go off and work. Yoda lays in the kiddie pool with his little floaties. Um, Arlen, anything specifically you're doing? Yeah, I just uh, want to talk to Captain Asmo. Yes, uh, and he's like, oh yes, what's up? And you can tell he's a little bit drunk, a little bit tipsy. And I'm um, guessing the uh, the crew have also partake it and have it, are having a good time. Yeah, who knew being your guys' crew would be such a great time? I uh, am amazed about this island and uh, almost want to set up a permanent home, but I also think that now that we've helped out here, we might be heading out soon. So uh, just make sure the ship is ready. All right. Other than that, have well, a good time. I would talk to the mayor because he said that there's an entire another city somewhere on this island as well that you all might be interested in. Uh, right. I think he said his name was uh, Moho, the city of Moho. M O apostrophe O H. All right. Well, thank you, Captain Asmo. I'll let you get back to partying and uh, tell the crew they've done an excellent job and uh, just have fun. Yeah. How is the stowaway? behaving oh uh she's behaving quite fine actually uh she's running around here somewhere and yodala you actually do see uh ruth appears to be swimming in the shallow section as well um like i i i never learned how to swim uh you lived on an island and you never learned how to swim well you see um kind of a noble family and I was kind of sheltered a little bit. Um, All right, then for the rest of the party, I'm going to teach Ruth how to swim. Okay. So you teach Ruth how to swim. And I, I think I think by the end of the day, you could probably get her a basic understanding how to swim without floaties. Yeah. Of course, just keep, not, keep her from drowning. Yeah. Um, Yuri, what are you doing? Yeah, this is full on Janice play mode. Um, Janice is bigger than me, uh, probably more powerful than me when it comes to like strength and stuff like that. Uh, and so this is, you know, playing and, and we're, we're running like, cause she is just five feet faster than me. So yep. going through the forest, like hunting uh, little animals and stuff like that. I'm naturally a hunter yeah. uh, that would bring in food. That, was, that would be my normal, yeah. uh, so normal there's, way of doing life. There's no forest. Wow. It's all oh, grassland wow. around this area, but you could definitely hunt some small game like rabbits, game like rabbits and all that sort of stuff around the area. Yeah, so like the, the, the almost Lion King-like, where it's mm -hmm. like go through the, the the grassland and then like attack the beetle. Turn around Zazu. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, attack, attack Zazu, stuff like that. Like we're That's very right. stealthy and, and all that uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and just, just having a good time and being uh, kind of a, a proud papa kind of uh, kind of yeah. way of of she's grown so much and just uh, you know having the, the, the evening for that. And you uh, also see the axolotls that's still on your back. It appears that you're having a great time as you're <laughs> as you're running uh, with Janice. As uh, he speaks to your mind, he says, "Well, okay, that's oh, okay. Uh, this is actually a lot of fun." Uh, and he's like slish sloshing all over the place. I um, knew he was there, but I forgot like in this very <laughs> moment because I was so like, excited about Janice that uh, yeah, yeah. Let's say 
uh, Yuri and I remember his... why we came to the island was to get him to the other one, <laughs> even though we haven't done that yet. <laughs> you Oopsies. guys, you guys have been messing around. Oh, well, not messing around. You guys have been doing other things for five episodes. So yeah. Um. So yeah. I think that's our next uh, our next step. Yeah. Did the did the sandstorm stop so we can get to the other city? So if you remember correctly, I said Yodelay that the sandstorm never stops. It is a eternal. Although, however, someone from the city of Mo'o can lead you a safe way through, and you would probably earn enough gain in this city to find someone who does know the way through. But that's tomorrow's problem. Uh, as you guys celebrate, anything else of note that you're doing? No? All right. I think after everything finishes up, after I do finish the shield and all that, I think Alaxor would sit down and kind of pray and meditate on the new abilities that he has been bestowed. Yeah. So as you and do how that, those memories came from, where did they come from? Because it, he doesn't remember them. Yeah, as you do that, once again, the memory, such strange memories fill your minds. Of course, the most defining of them all was the moment that you perished. That comes to mind for a moment. And you got remind you get reminded of how the night the mother of the night lifted you up and gave you a second chance. And now you think about where that where those where the uh, memories of the new kind came from. And you remember some sort of tall figure of some sort. He spoke of a prince, but other than that, you do not remember much and as you do that eventually the day fades away and you all get a long rest and you wake oh. up the next day yay whoa you guys all look different from way down there very poor nose hair hygiene going on a lot of clingers just so you know yep um and wake up and uh, Mayor Tislo invites you to partake in breakfast um, and he explains so what's next for you all monster hunters uh, uh, we, we have to get our friend Arlen, here you're back to where he's supposed to be going Ah, yes, the the elder, you called it. Um, let's see, and where would that be? Arlen, I you're muted. Don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I believe that we heard that there is a uh, perpetual sandstorm around the other city. And that yes. there is a creature that controls it. Uh, correct. Well, we don't know what controls it, but uh, you do know that Jim told you that the Elder controls it. Right. Um, uh, yes, you are on that island. Go to way. Um, and as you, as you say this, uh, he says, I have someone that can lead you to the sandstorm. In fact, you've already met them. Already met the, them. The, the captain that tried to arrest us all. Correct. Uh, Cass. Thea. Why am I not surprised? Well, she may have been a bit... Let's just say... Uh, suspicious of you at first. But ever since you protected her from those invisible creatures that had attacked, she uh, has learn to gain a bit of respect from you and is probably willing now to lead you in fact she could even lead you to the queen because 
she is the queen's daughter. Oh, <gasps> uh, that makes sense. You, you didn't think it was important to lead with that? That we well, were speaking with royally and traveling with royalty? Well, she prefers not to be th thought of as royalty. In Do you fact, think the queen cares how she wants things to be addressed? No. We have a deal of respect around here, and no one is above anyone else. Even our even our monarchy is more of a democracy, except for it, it works a little bit different than you might think it does. Basically, the way it works is we consider someone a queen, but technically they are kind of elected, unlike me, who's directly elected by everyone uh, via a vote uh, every 10 or so years. Uh, every five or so years in Mo'o, a, anyone can challenge the queen to a competition of wits, strength, power, and all that sort of thing to basically become the new leader. How often does that uh, happen? Usually it only happens if a ruler is not up to the standards of the people. So if anybody could be the ruler by winning this little contest? Yes. I but like <laughs> there are many ways to, um, let's just say, get impeached. Um, in that area. And the new queen has not given up her rule in 20 years. There have been many that have challenged her, but none that have succeeded. Um, so yes. Uh, and then we also, I know that Mo'o changes their constitution every 50 or so years to update with the times. How progressive. I was going to say that's awfully progressive. <laughs> it's very progressive. Uh, so, okay, so uh, uh, when can we head out with Cass then? Um, you can head out whenever. I'll, I'll call Cass here real quick. Uh, uh, if you have, we'll just have some breakfast and let you call Cass. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, eventually he sends a messenger and Cass comes in and says, ah, monster hunters. Uh, so great to see you again. How's everything been? It's been great to see us. Yeah. So Very I've heard good. I'm... We got back the, the healing lagoon back to your people, which is good. Yeah. And uh, now we just need to go to the town of Mo. Yeah. And... She uh, explains that I am more than happy to help you get there. You just have to follow my lead, or else one little, oh, well, one little misstep could get you lost in the sandstorm. Not a problem. Um, Yodele, are you okay with this? Right, everything looks the same to me. I'm not gonna get lost. It's true. Um, I was more concerned with uh, the misstep by you. You beat missed? to your own drum. Yes. Yeah, so you all uh, gather up, eat your breakfast. Anything you guys want to do before you leave? Um. Do we have? supplies and stuff like that that we uh should make sure that that we have we've gotten everything but i got my ropes back i got my pitons back from from our uh pyramid adventure we have our, our normal travel supplies am i correct yes um okay. you do have do you have your normal travel supplies okay and then i think if we have everything then i'm i'm good all right. Uh, so maybe maybe talk to Jim about a letter of introduction to the paladin that served the other deity. On oh the yes, uh, I'll give you one to William, and you see Jim quickly write up one, and uh, she explains that William's a eccentric type. Let's just say, um, very 
skittish in some ways. Uh, and he's acts young, let's just say. Um, he's also very weird compared to everyone else here. He stands out like a sore thumb. Um, he has purplish he skin. Has he, if you've ever seen a demon or a devil, that's what he kind of looks like. Um, my head instantly flashes to the, the moments I've had with the Cleese. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Let's say, um, your moments with your Eccles uh, do come to mind, but he but she explains that other than that he seems like a good fellow, um, and I will put a good word in for you. But you sh you should be able to find him quite easily. He stands out once again like a sore thumb, uh, just like you all do. Uh, so if there's anything else, let me know. I think we go. There you go. Right. So, um, how do we find? Do you have a way of finding the elder, or will William be able to maybe do that a little better since being around him or her? Uh, I would, I would check with William. I haven't been to Mo'o in quite a while. Um, he should be able to lead you there, hopefully. Um, if not, I'm sure you will find the elder. Um, I thank her for her time, and as I leave her forge, I place a hundred gold just on the table without saying anything. And she says, as you walk out, she says, thank you, and may, and may um, Kai be with you. And may the Night Mother be with you as well, Jim. And so you walk out and continue on your journey as... Cass explains that you can bring the horses, uh, thankfully. Um, so it shouldn't take too long to get there, probably by the end of the day. Um, it's on the north coast of the island, so still pretty far away. Um, and Cass explains, now don't be alarmed, because this place will be let's just say bigger than even the Healing Lagoon was. Wow. Uh, to be fair, a lot of it is old architecture. Um, the city has existed for many thousands of years and has been broken, rebuilt many times. Um, so many buildings look decrepit, many look new. It all comes down to where you are in the city. Hmm. Um, but let's continue on our way. And so eventually you guys make your way to about the midpoint of the island and you see it slowly turning into more of the sand deserty type area. Um, not really a completely total shift like the forest was in the Feywild last session, but definitely a faster turn than you would think into a harsher climate. And eventually you see the sandstorms in front of you uh, swirling around, uh, rising to the high sky. And you all eventually cast leads you through an opening uh, through a canyon area. And you see, it's kind of weird because as you enter, the sandstorm still appears to be around you but it appears to just not affect this canyon area. Um, as you all continue on your journey, anything you guys would like to do? I mean, I'm keeping, if we're in a canyon, I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye out for ambush. All right, maybe a perception check. You're always so paranoid, Yuri. I really am. I 22. Nothing appears to be around you, as okay. far as you can tell. And so you make your way through. Uh, I'd like to approach Arlen while we're on horseback, Aiden, and just... Um, do you have memories that aren't your own, Arlen? In what way do you mean? 
You were brought back by the Night Mother, right. correct? Yes. Do you have memories that aren't yours? Have you recalled things that you shouldn't have knowledge of? Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit more connected with those of my monastery, especially the past monster hunter. But other than that, I don't I don't think so. Do you feel like you have memories that aren't your own? I I don't know. And I and I think at this point I'd probably go into the dream that I had during the teleport with him. Yeah. About being in front of a giant and him giving me a tablet and then being able to recall that. And I was like, I've never been off the main island until this that I can recall. Sometimes Dude. dreams are strange. You know, maybe it was a past life or something. I, I don't know. The only thing that I thought maybe, maybe you'd, you had the same experience. Um, in only being, in dreams being brought back by her maybe I thought that was the connection but I, I guess that's it's something different and um, as you uh, as you make your way through um, let's say everything seems fine once again uh, Cass once again explains that monsters really aren't that big of a deal um, they usually try to avoid these areas, understanding that it's civilized, and they'd rather not deal with it. Um, and so you eventually make your way to the city. And the sandstorm still surrounds the city, but there's also a little bit of coast you can kind of see off in the distance. Um, and as you make your way through, uh, you see this gigantic city. Many of the buildings made out of sandstone um, and other materials. You see some parts of buildings broken, damaged, clearly not repaired. Um, others appear to be pristine and new. Um, many, uh, every once in a while, you'll see batches of uh, or fountains of water um, filling areas for people, and you see various lizard folks drinking out of it and turtles also drinking out of them. Um, and as you uh, make your way uh, down, uh, anything you guys are doing? Cass uh, explains, let me, I guess I will lead you to my mother. Um, and she kind of sighs a little bit and continues on as uh on that side yeah can i insight yeah maybe an insight check potentially trying to figure out maybe what we're in for uh 19. you can tell it's you can tell that she has a large respect for her mother and a lot of love for her mother it's just it just seems she wants to kind of take her own path rather than what her mother wants from her, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, as, I think I, I think as, as that happens, then Aiden, I just kind of tell her, stay true to your path. And she nods her, nods the head, nods her head at you, and you all continue. As you bump into someone. Ouch! Uh, you see this in heavy armor, this purplish, bluish skinned humanoid. Uh, horns protruding out and under. Um, and you bump into him. And you recognize him as William. And he, uh, as you bump into him, he sort of says, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, and he uh, appears to try to keep on walking. Uh, anything you guys want to do? Or... Excuse me, sir. I actually think you're one of the individuals we are we are looking for. Oh, I am? Oh, okay. It's, uh, uh, it's a coincidence that you happen to 
stumble across as uh, we weren't paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Um, and I take the letter out and um, we come from a fellow friend, Jem, from the Healing the Doom. Ah, Jem. And I hand him the letter. Uh, and he appears to read it and he says, yes. And, and we would love would love to converse with you. Unfortunately, at the moment, we are on the way to see the queen, but may we find you somewhere later to discuss particulars. Yes, meet me at my uh, temple. It's on the other side of town, uh, the temple of Ilias, um, and we will, we will converse. Um, and he explains that, uh, for now, I need to run and, and do some things. Uh, it was great meeting you. What's your name? Um, you can call us the Monster Hunters. We will do formal introductions this evening at your temple. All right. May the night uh, mother be with you. And he kind of looks at you for a second and says, yes, and may Ilias be with you. He kind of stutters a little bit as he says that. Um... And he continues on. Is it a stutter like it's a normal speech? Or did it feel like it was taken aback? It was taken aback. Okay. Um, so you guys continue on. Uh, and see this gigantic building. Clearly a uh, lot of remodeling done on it. <laughs> uh, as you can see, these patches and areas where... Uh, it's clear that um, it hasn't completely ever been destroyed, but it also has. It's also still in the state of repair a lot, as areas uh, various things fall apart. Uh, you walk in, and Cass leads you up to a th throne room. Uh, guards appear to be everywhere, of course, but seeing Cass, they let you in. And as you enter. Uh, you enter a throne room. And you see standing there this red skinned, uh, sh sh yeah, red skinned, wearing full plate mail armor with a great sword on her back. A, and up uh, sitting on the throne, it appears, uh, appears to be her. And she looks at you all and says, and and then looks at Cass. Uh, I bow. As do I. <laughs> and then looks at Cass and says, How goes it in the Healing Lagoon? And Cass says, Good, we finally fixed the problem thanks to these fine gentlemen. And she motions over to you. And as, as Cass says that, you see the queen that you can tell, obviously. Uh, bows to you all as well uh, as a show of respect and says so what can I do for you all? Well, we're looking for the Elder. The Elder. Unfortunately, I cannot share any information about the Elder with you. That would be more of William's job. Right. I think mostly we're just kind of looking for uh, a place to stay until we can go look for this person. Uh, yes. Is there any issues that you guys are facing here? We've noticed that uh, with things like the healing lagoon, some monsters seem to have leaked from other planes of existence to our islands. Yes. Um... There's not really any active problems. Also, she introduced herself as Queen Bezel Athea. Uh, and she says, no really active violent problems. Um, currently, we are working on reforms for Yuan T. Um, for we used to have strong disdain for them, but 
We've now realized in recent years not all of them are as evil as we thought. So, we have recently been working on reforms for getting them more rights in this area. Um, and we're hoping that will carry over to the Healing Lagoon. In fact, I'm meeting with some of them later today to discuss the what, what they what they want to do uh, and discuss the reforms. Interesting. Uh, now, do you mean later today or tomorrow? Because you came in late in the evening. That's true. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow afternoon. Um, All right. Well, and... if we can assist in any way. You actually could. You all are strong, correct? Correct. Well, we have our strengths, correct? If it's you all... Physical strength might be, uh, like, looking at you to, like, a stretch for most. If you all could come in tomorrow afternoon and uh, sort of be a secret service, if you will, um, during the meeting, just in case, I would really appreciate that. Um, you would just be watching the meeting, making sure everything's fine. You don't even have to be in the room if you don't want to. Just nearby. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get tricked into moving a couch and wall, <laughs> and there's gonna be a whole bunch of stairs. I know how this works. And it would also provide my guards with a little bit of time off that afternoon. Um. So what do you guys say? I will provide you with a room as well to sleep in. Certainly, yes. We would be more than willing to do that. Yeah. Good. Good. I agree. Um, I agree. I want to sleep. All right. So she says, good. Um, and explains and explains. If, there's, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask me. All right. And yeah. So, anything else you guys are doing? I think we're just gonna go see William. Yep. Yeah. So, you all head off to the Church of Ilias, which is decorated with a, um, the front of it's decorated with a sun symbol. Um, and if you remember correctly, I think I stated that Ilias represents the sun. Um, uh, and so you enter in, and William appears to be, uh, place appears to be spotless, as William appears to be cleaning and all that sort of stuff. And he looks at you all and says, oh, hello. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, what can I, what can I do for you all again? Well, William, we're looking for the elder of your island. All right. Um, yes, the elder. Uh, so the thing is... Uh, I have no idea where he is. Oh. Wait, do you have any idea how we could, could find them? Um, let me do some research in the library. And I can certainly try to see how you could get to him. Okay. Uh, what does, what is the elder exactly on your own? What kind of form does it take? Weirdly, weirdly and ironically enough, a snake. Um, a snake. Yeah. Which I think you'd mentioned before, but yes. Yes. Um, although, just because it's a snake does not mean it is evil. Not. Right. I don't think. I don't think any elder is necessarily evil. No. Um, it's just the only reason that we don't like the Yuan Ti around these parts is mostly because of the strong history and ties we have to them. Um, it's complicated. Um, it's new. Uh, <laughs> it is new. It's high noon. Um, I think I heard it on the screen before I heard it outside. You did. Yeah. Um, and he explains that. So you mentioned that you all were with the Mother of the Night, correct? Correct. I come from the monastery and Laxador is a cleric of the Mother of the Night. I, I did not mean offense earlier. As No offense. It's just the, the sun. 
So. It's it's just surprising to meet another one of you. It has been so long since we've had a worshipper of the Mother of the Night, or proper worship, here. Uh, probably ever since he came through. He? he? Who? Uh, he was with a group about 50 years ago. Um, Doran was his name. from the monastery. Yeah. So he did make it to this island. Yes. Um, yeah. In fact, um, me and him kind of got along pretty well, actually. Um, me and another one of them didn't get quite along. Um, was the one you didn't get along with? Um, what was his name? Cade? Was that? Cole? Cole. Cole. Yes, it was Cole. He uh, was rather... Well, he was nice at the beginning, but turned rather aggressive near the end. Um, whenever he came back here for a while. Um, Did the group all come back when Cole came with him? When Cole came back through the last time? Or was they, he alone? They all came back through and then left, and then we never saw them again. Cole was the only one who made it back to our island. Right. They all, all the others had died. And if you remember correctly, Cole said that it was a group of lizard folk that had killed the rest of the right. party. Which, so far, you all have no reason to believe that found, these lizard folk yeah. have are aggressive in any way. Um, now, yes, some of them are suspicious of you, and they have the right to be, because you're a bunch of new humans. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'll say the people in the Healing Lagoon want, uh, like you. I will say that the people around here are kind of suspicious right now. Um, the Queen is showing you courtesy because you helped with the Healing Lagoon. Um, and hoping and that you can prove yourselves. Yeah. And William says that I will, I will research what I can. Um, but I believe, if I remember correctly, the, the the way you find uh, the elder is you need to believe and just walk into the sandstorm <laughs> and hope. So you've got to believe in the fairies? Yes, basically. I know I sound like a crazy person, but I promise you, it's worked before. <laughs> we have done many a crazy thing. Most that of them is... with Yodelay. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. You're not wrong there. Um. All right. So we'll uh, we'll go back and rest up and see you tomorrow after you've maybe done a little bit of study into this. Yes. We have a meeting to attend tomorrow afternoon. How does tomorrow evening work for you? That'll work just fine. Um, um, one, one, one question for you. Do you know anything about the creature who calls himself the Monster King? Or maybe even I mean an insight uh, check real quick, Alax Door. And and then I will say, as I kinda look around getting ready to this, I, I say the word Ecles as well. Uh eighteen. He says he says no. But it's weird because you get this sense like he's not telling the truth, but he's also telling the truth. Do I get the sense that it's been a magical means? It's... That he thinks he's telling the truth? Make me an arcana check. Why do you keep making me make these checks? <laughs> you're the one talking. <laughs> That's a four. Oh. I know nothing about arcana. Magic is not something you learn. You just do it. <laughs> he might be. Maybe uh, you got an 18 on insight, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you get this theory that maybe he might be suffering a little bit from what you have as well, where you have the okay. split personality. So maybe perhaps there's two people. Mm -hmm. um, as you kind of get that feeling like this guy seems like 
it, it, it just kind of reminds you of you in a way of Laxdor. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he explains, yes, I will do research um, and let you know tomorrow evening. Which, Please. Which which name did it feel like he knew but didn't know? Was it when I mentioned Eccles or was it the Monster King? It was the Monster King. Okay. Did he recognize the name Eccles at all? Uh, he actually does say, I do recognize the name Eccles. Uh, Anything you could share about that tomorrow evening would be greatly appreciated as well. Yes. And so you all head back to the castle and rest for the night, as that's where we're going to end that session. Whew.